Have you ever played Friday Night Funkin'? No, but several people have constantly recommended it to me and I know from just looking at the gameplay that it's not a game I would ever play on my channel whatsoever. It's not a game that I'd enjoy. It's like, quick time events is one of the two things that really piss me off in video gamings. The other one being time, like forced time limits and Friday Night Funkin' is a combination of a time limit with quick time events. I love Friday Night Funkin'. I'm new here, so I don't know if he has. No, I definitely have not. I definitely have not and I'm probably not gonna play it, realistically. Hey there, so here's the plan. I'm sorry, I think that I went a little overboard, but uh, I can't help it. This is all too exciting. So, I've been saving this for a rainy day. You know, figuratively, does anyone here actually play Friday Night Funkin' or do they just like to watch it? Because it's it's one of those games that people don't like playing, right? Quick Time Events is not something that people necessarily like watching in mass, because it's just reflexes, essentially. Unless it's really interesting, like Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm Love FNF2? Okay. We don't really have those. Either way, behold, the UG Aviator. I play it a lot. Okay, good. In the water sits an old looking raft with just room for two passengers. Isn't she a beauty? Boats are she's, you know. I call her Ava for short. Isn't that cute? I suppose so. I'm going around. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, poos. We can't go around. Or well, can we? No, we can't go around. What about this? Maybe that's open in the genocide route. We'll find out later, I suppose. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Or not, do I have to talk to you? If my map and memory serve, this river should lead directly to Heartland. From there, it's a hop, skip, and a leap to Esper's Castle. I'm not sure how we're getting in, but we cross that bridge when we come to it, right? I also wanted to apologize about, well, you know, attacking you. I meant no harm, honest. I just have to do my job is all. And well, Oftentimes, I don't know what the right action is until it's too late. So, I know we just met and all, but will you trust me on this? Sure, I'll trust you. Hey, don't worry, your trust is in good hands. You don't have hands, or wings, as the case may be. Fair enough. I'll go it with my soul. And this means we get to have an adventure. This is so exciting. I mean, nothing this exciting ever happens around here. At least, while I've ever been here, it hasn't. Well, I'll think of all of the fun, fun we'll have. I mean, there's a chance I might be fired for this and lose all of my life's work and belongings, but hey, what's life without a little risk? Shall we be off then? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Seems cool. Deltarune mod kind of goes hard. Other than that, I don't really know Friday Night Fucking. I play it on Roblox because I only have a mobile device. Roblox Friday Night Fucking game is Monday morning misery. Can you not play it? And can you actually not play Friday Fucking on mobile? It looks like one of those games that you can definitely play on a phone or some sort. It's not like... It's not terribly hard to run. And it's kind of based off of old style mobile games anyway. That's the entire gameplay loop. Wait, hold on. I was supposed to be on the ever with you. Fly, fly you fool. What's life without a little risk? Safe, it is actually, that's exactly what it is. Okay, there's all the waterfall caverns. So, hi. So I was thinking, if ever doesn't have sails, does this still count as sailing? No. Pretty smooth ride, yeah? My woodworking skills aren't too shabby. I suppose I should thank my mentor. Older fella by the name of Chujin taught me everything. He, well, never mind. Is he supposed to be kind of like a... Uh, what's his name? Gaster. He's supposed to be a Gaster figure, right? Now, Rizza in the boat? Okay. It's not like quick time events, it's a rhythm game. Yeah, rhythm games are literally quick time events. That, that's exactly what they are. You have to go to New Realms to play it? You can play that on a phone. You can play New Realms games on a phone. It's not the big, it's just a little quality assurance questionnaire. Will you try it? Sure. Great. Question one. On a scale from one to three, how would you rate your encounter with the Royal Guard? Please answer honestly. Uh, which is the good one? Probably one. Oh, was it that bad? I'm sorry. Well, maybe it wasn't really as bad as you think it was. It's just one of those bad in the moment, but good laugh later things. Yeah, like childhood trauma, am I right? Ha! Let's keep going. Maybe you'll change your mind. Question two. On a scale from one to two, how would you rate the puzzles to Bladen Snowden? Uh, what? Oh, yeah, I was gonna like complain about that or something. They don't really uh, acknowledge my requests or materials anymore. I wanted the molten rocks to be way bigger. It's a shame. How am I supposed to make a quality puzzle without materials? If the molten rocks were bigger, it would actually clog the puzzle, so that'd make it worse. I mean, the concepts were good at least, right? 
You know what? Let's just move on. Question three. On a scale of one to four, how would you rate the auditory ambient? What does that mean? Okay, that's a new question. Why do they keep updating this? <laughs> Let's get, just forget the questionnaire. I'll just put you down as a dead center for the rest. That sound good? Yeah, that works. Just a two there, and a three, and a 2.15 here, and 23, and we're done. Oh, one more thing. I'm gonna need your name for legal purposes. You know how it gets. It's Sea Lover. What a unique name. I love it. The Sea is short for cock. <laughs> so, Sea Lover, let's talk about Ava. Isn't she great? I told you, sails like a dream from a perfect lullaby. Nice base, pretty view, and not a single league. Oh, well, there's a little one, but not too many leagues. We can just sit back and relax and, hey, do you hear an abnormal amount of running water? I shouldn't. Well, we are in waterfall. Is it just me or is the river getting faster? Well, if anything, it helps it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I might not have been down this route before. Hold on to something. Oh, cool. We're in a pipe. Hey, look, it's Upland. This is our stop. Wait, we have to duck here. Slow down. Awesome, we just did a speedrunning skip. Oh no, 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 no. It's a shame we can't fly. I think we just died. Hello, Clover. Are you okay? Oh no, no, no. Oh, whoops, wrong voice. You stay right there. I'll go get help. I was trying to pre-voice somebody else, but it didn't work. Here we are. We're in the mines. The mines of Moria. The waterlogged remains of an old chest. You spy a small dry paper bag cradled in the interior of the slit. Will you take it? Yes, you got some trail mix. Great. Thank you. For the trail mix, a container bearing a strange symbol. The lid is bolted shut. It's impossible to open. Uh, I've got a gun. Maybe, I okay, fine. Ah, okay. Can monsters really go homeless? I mean, they are trapped underground. They've got a roof. They can go to Snowden, Waterfall, or Hotland for whatever temperatures certain things can do. Only if they're supposed to be living in houses like we are. You're saying sea lover? You have the exact same humor that I have? Nice. Secretly a man? I'm a, I'm a man. Marlon is trans- Yeah, she let her facade slip just a little bit. Howdy, Glover. What a day this has been. Thanks to that guard, we're totally off course. <laughs> it looks like she ditched you as well. I guess it can't be helped now. There's got to be another route to Asgard's castle here. Tough it out for now, and we'll see where this new path takes us. A little excitement never hurt anyone. Well, except you. Let me heal you up. Done. We've saved. Uh, there is a minecart here. What's in it? The minecart says lodged into the ground. You have no idea how this came to be. Okay. What about this one? Some hefty boxes lay in the dirt. They seem to have been here for a long time. Make everyone trans now because it's funny? I could make everybody trans, but then that kind of cheapens the whole purpose of, of being trans, right? It's like a personal choice. And if I'm making the personal choices for everybody else, it's not really personal anymore. Northern Cavern's up ahead. We know that Marlin is trans, right? That's that's good enough. Uh, can we just go through this tunnel right here? Is this a shortcut back? Seems like it's a shortcut back. Okay. We'll go into the light. Dun, 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 dun! Oh yeah, this is some Clint Eastwood vibes. The West Mines. Property of Mining Company. Ah, that's an app name. Can't interact with that barrel. What about this little thing here? What are these supposed to be? <laughs> I just don't know. This one's just wrong. That one's flat out wrong. Yeah, okay, the center of gravity on this one should have had it fall over at some point. Can we just like knock it over? Can we, can we just punch it? No, okay. Flower always has and always will be the goat. Yeah, type bit. It is, isn't it? Uh, can we take one of these cacti with us? <laughs> I just got jump scared by a trumpet. All right, what are we fighting? What's here? Dune bud popped out of the sand. All right, I'm shooting in the face because it jump scared me. Bang! What is the SP thing? Gob gob. Oh, that's a bucket. What in the hell is that? Oh my god, that is potent. I did not expect that. Oh, 
Jimbad begins to gargle a song. What can we be friends? What can we be friends? What can we be friends? Oh, we're playing reverse Flappy Bird. What can we be friends? Okay, I'm gonna shoot it in its face. There we go. Bang! Every time we get to a new area, we're gonna murder someone. It just did a sneeze, I think. Ugh. This is not so bad, actually. I can deal with this. That's, that's not bad at all. It smells like sandpaper. Bang! I fired some coffee into this bastard. Wiggle woggle. The vultures who get this guy's corpse are going to be on crack. Okay, I went straight into that arrow, probably completely unnecessary. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're taking every unnecessary hit that we possibly can for some reason. Grr. Okay, let's not get hit by these arrows again. It should be dying pretty soon. Good. We can't be hit by another one. Damn it! Oh, so close! Ah, but isn't Flowey evil? No, I wouldn't say Flowey is evil per se, so much as fed up with the state of the world in Undertale. Sand is covering your eyes. Bright yellow, your favourite. Narrator in Undertale, yellow be like. Yikes, that looked painful. Brush yourself off and get back at him. Okay, we're going to shoot that thing to death, even though we are massively underleveled. Welcome back. Thanks, Flowey. Thank you very much. I'm going to sprint. We actually do have a sprint feature. I should be using it more often. We aren't using it nearly as much as we could be. I love the soundtrack in this game, though. It is pretty good. There are a few original sounds in this game that distinguish it from Undertale, and I do vibe them. I vibe them real hard. Okay, we'll come across here. Okay, that is a scripted fight. We're still gonna fight it anyway. Whoops, I missed the bullets. Swip swap! Okay, good. Whoa. Whoa, okay. It seems like they've got a platform that they bounce off of that's just above the platform at the bottom anyway. Flower evil in Undertale, but he's not evil in Undertale Yellow. What? You, again, you don't know he's evil in Undertale. He's just kind of like, he's seen too much crap and he's already died once. That would probably make somebody a little bit salty to life anyway. It's all coming out in the game theory that I'm going to work on. Maybe I should be breaking it up into like little videos. It smells like sandpaper. Okay, bam. At least we landed the hit. Swip swap. Okay, this one's actually a bit of a pain in the ass to get around. Now. Bang, 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 and I'm gonna swap around there. Good! We didn't take a single hit in that one. And bang! Nice! I just shot some coffee right into his mouth. Swip swap! Yeah, the vultures that get this guy's corpse, they're gonna be on crack. Wee! Wee! Okay, let's shoot him in the face again. Okay, we'll come all the way over here because he's going to do a bunch of jumps at us. Whoa, that was so close. Excellent. And then we wait here. Done. Favorite enemy theme? Delta and battle theme? Undertale battle theme? Or yellow battle theme? Um, they're all different, actually. I think my, th my favorite theme in the entire franchise has to be Jevil's fight. It's got to be Jevil's fight, right? Jevil's fight just slaps. Okay, we're going to shoot him again. Bang. That should have been a good one. I don't know what the SP plus one means. Okay, he's going to... Do that weird kind of gobby thing that he keeps doing. And we literally cannot get through it. Okay, we can actually just outlast him. It smells like sandpaper. Now it's going to smell like fresh coffee. Damn, we missed. Bup, bup. All right, this one's not so bad once you get used to it. You just got to not get stuck on the outsides. And you got to go around at least one of those arrows. Good. Okay, and bang. Not landing a crit is absolutely fine so long as we actually land something. Whoa. I'm glad that that tumbleweed bounced on top of us. How's the stream going? It's going great, Five Host. No boss themes, just themes from regular enemies? Uh, no idea. I don't really pay attention to a lot of the, uh, the regular enemies in this game. Oh, what a hit. Done. Shut through the face. And I'm to blame. We got 50 cent of experience and 8 gold. Our love also increased. That's what I like to see. We shot someone to death. What's our health at? It's actually pretty good. We only took one hit in that entire fight. Another scripted fight. Double trouble. Okay, I'm running. Or not. Wiggle, wiggle. Who's? Oh, this one's actually not. No, oh, this one's not that bad. We've, we've had. Oh, okay. I took one anyway. Oh, it's long as well. It's a really long phase. Can we just flee? Yes. Good. 
What proof zero? I have much knowledge about Undertale and Undertale Yellow. Flowey is, is is or isn't evil. Somebody say something else so I can see behind that emoji that's blocking my chat bar. Okay, that's all of our stuff. We should probably actually just stick all of the stuff we don't want in here. Flowey is evil. I like enemy rotonic. Oh, I see. So here's my evidence for Flowey not being evil. Psychological analysis. It's literally that simple. And then using um, in-game evidence from Undertale. We can actually figure out that Flowey is not necessarily evil so much as he is a symptom of his own creation. Uh, probably don't want ice pellets out. Although it might do a bit more damage. But I don't think environmental damage really does a lot. Uh, we probably also want to use that their pin as well, don't we? You pin the honeydew pin to your hat. So now we can also deposit this feather. Done. We were walking through here looking like an absolute pin, but we don't need to anymore. Why are we down here? <laughs> Why'd we come down here? Oh, I see. There is another path. Oh, there are some packing peanuts in the box. Nice. Will you take them? Yes, we'll eat them. You got packing peanuts. There's also some peanuts here. There is nothing here of conceivable use to you. I see two peanuts. Ah, oh, well, we'll just eat those packing peanuts, right? We'll eat the packing peanuts right now, I think. You eat the packing peanuts? <laughs> I thought it was ammo. I didn't think we were actually going to do that. Aside from the taste, texture, and potential health risk, they're not that bad. HP maxed out. Oh, I wish I'd known that so much earlier in advance. We just wasted some health. Okay, that's fine. We've also got this here. We'll try and get some mail. Some whale mail. Better than snail mail. You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is? Mail time. Mail time. You receive mail. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. You know, I truly hope you like your mail as, as kind of like what I hope dads tell their daughters when they get married right the flowery girl theme is good too flowery girl theme Flowey's not a girl where's our mail we don't have oh mail yeah uh, so we got the mo letter right let's read it if you're reading this it means you had the pleasure of meeting me i'll make this snappy you're not gonna believe it i'm selling a new premium product for half off i know what you're saying i would gladly pay full price your products i appreciate that I really do, but this ain't the time for high prices. Just find my stand and I'll give you the juicy, juicy WAP style details. Huh? Where is my stand? I don't even know myself. I should probably go find that. Good luck, Mo. And he pinned his card to me as well. Great. Uh, I don't want to read that one. I want to do this intro letter. Come, new friend, right here into our space. Whether you roam or stay in one place, we hope you have friends with fun letters to send and a smile always on your face. There's more mail without any stress. Hope to see you again. The Ugpiss. Okay, thank you, Ugpiss. Everybody say thank you to the Ugpiss. Flowey is a certified guy. Absolutely. Well, uh, we probably don't actually know what gender the flower is, but we know that he came from a guy's body. Dunebud popped out of the sand. I'm running. I don't remember the name of the monster. There was a girl with a basket of flowers. I don't mean flowery. Girl with a basket of flowers? Who that? That wasn't an Undertale, surely not. Alert! Warning sign ahead. Oh, what does it say? Warning! Danger sign ahead. What does the danger sign say? Danger! Sandstorm ahead. Take cover! No. Marking me. Double trouble. I'm off. <laughs> Piss on that. I'm not gonna deal with that. Come on. Who do you think I am? Competent? Uh. Okay. It is actually a sandstorm. We need to take cover, it seems. Ah, okay, so we gotta advance up, right? Like this? Ah. Okay. I saw this car. I saw this car. Okay, uh, well, oh, piss, that was so close. I don't wanna be like blown away to the beginning or anything like that. I'm getting behind this one here. Nice, there is a red X on the wall over there. I'm gonna come over here. And now we're gonna go up. And we're gonna hide behind this building wall. There's a picture of a dog on the other side of here. We're actually gonna go and look at it. What does it say? Doggy! And we're right back at the start, right? Oh, I knew it. Okay, so we do have to hide behind a bunch of things. Basket of flowers, any other information or description? Sandstorm, stay covered. Do -do 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 -do. What, do we get coordinate? No, good. I'm gonna gap it over here. There we go, excellent. And now we gap it over this side. And now we could probably just wait behind this building. And now we gap it somewhere else that also has cover over here, hopefully. Like this wall. Nice. There shouldn't be any sandstorms down here. Unless it's Darude. All right. What is this guy up to? Is he blowing dynamite? I'm not up to anything suspicious, okay? There is no treasure behind this wall, okay? 
Don't rat me out, okay? What is behind this wall? The paint is still wet. <laughs> okay, he might actually be onto something, right? There might not actually be any treasure behind there. Was that it? We just came down here for a for a little bit of a joke. Okay, we'll go up now because I can hear the sandstorm. Good. And now we run up this away and we hide behind this column for some reason. Why is there a column in here? What is this, a news agency? I'm going to go down this away. What's down here? There's got to be some goodies down here, surely. Or is this just where we fall down? Okay, nothing there. Can we actually take the high ground? I'm going to see. Okay, we'll come down here. I remember one of the name of the monsters was Violetta. Sand is in your eyes, youch. Violetta, that rings a bell, but not massively. Okay, I'm taking the high ground. We're probably going to miss a weapon or something like that, but... I took cover behind this person. I can't stand storm the sandstorm. Well said. Well said, weird robot cat. All right, we're going down now. Good. I wonder if there's any reason that we would take the lower ground. I feel like this is just going to give us an item up here, though. Or the low ground gives us an item. Oh, there was literally no reason to do either of the uh, different directions. <laughs> Screenshot it. Can we hide behind this guy? No. Oh, well, that would have been good information to have had before we tried it. Ah, oh, well. Here's Skibbity Sigma Toilet Fortnite. Disgusting. Flowey is Sigma? True or false? Yes, true. Like, by definition, true. Okay, I'm coming up here. We're going to hide behind this here. And now we want to go around Robot Cat Man. Or we could get stuck on the geometry. That's fine as well. Go through here. This is a cool little mini game, actually. I do kind of like this. It's like hide and seek. Although I don't know any sandstorm that would actually wait for somebody to get behind cover before it just goes again. There's a line for how much brain rot is too much. Uh, yeah. Oh, I was about to say it's like artificially created, right? It had to have been artificially created. Okay, I'm going to talk to this guy. What's good? So, hot! Thank you. I mean, like, it work out, but you don't, you don't have to be so kind. Ah, perfect. We found the desert oasis. Howdy! Strange sight, huh? Who knew something could actually grow here? Anyways, great job so far. This place is much more treacherous than Snowden. Keep it up, Clover. Where the hell? We didn't tell him our name. We told him that our name was Gunhat. Okay, Flowey is now ringing alarm bells. I'm getting red flag vibes from Flowey. The hell is this? Oh, uh, we were going to be sold something again. Is he going to try sell us sand in the desert this time? Bam! Guess who it is? That's right! It's Mo! Long time no see. Have you? How have you been? Don't answer that. We don't have the time. I'm here to make you a brand new offer! A hot climate calls for a hot item. Check it. Oh, that's right! I went all out this time. This was a real delicacy around here. It's called water. Catchy name, I know. Lucky for you, I'm giving you out free samples. Want a glass? No. Oh, come on, buddy. Your tongue must be as dry as the ground. Let me treat ya. Oh, he's gonna do it anyway. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> if you know your boy Mo, you know I planned all of that. Here's my real product. Ice tea! It's like the sequel to water, way better! Now, I'm gonna be real with you. The tea doesn't have ice in it particularly. It started as a glass of ice, but that melted. All I had to do is throw a tea bag in there and wham! Don't worry, it tastes better this way. Here's what I got. Uh, there's a sea tea. Green tea, sea tea. I'm gonna go with sea tea. Great choice. Drink up! We're gonna drink the salt water. That's really good for us, right? There is never enough brain rot? Uh, that is absolutely incorrect. Actually, you died after you told him that. Mo voice acting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Goddamn Mo, more like Sir Yap Yappington Yap the third. Bro is really trying. Oh, to do like a Matt Berry salesman voice, it's not that hard. Anyone can do a Matt Berry salesman voice. 
It's really, really hard to get the voice right. Besides, you're the first person, most likely, to have not immediately said, oh, I like the, uh, the extra effort for the voice acting. Okay, what are we fighting here? Sir Slither has a proposition. And it's real. Alright, what is it? Uh, X to doubt. You step away from Sir Slither. This pursuit falters. Come on, mate, don't leave me out to dry! Ah! I'm being snaked on! Oh! Oh, they're coming from everywhere! There's snakes everywhere! Sir Slither looks you up and down. Okay. Uh, doubt. You refuse to let Sir Slither become a main character. <laughs> Fine, but you're missing out, big! Enjoy the snake size hole in your heart! You bastard! Oh. oh my god, what if we just stay right here? Do they only move in thirds? I think they are only move in thirds. Sir Slither can't convince you. I'm gonna spear him. You won! You have speared the, the uh, penis, the, the sentient penis. Do a flip? No. Your mo voice sounds like Spamton voice acting. Yeah, it's basically the same voice. Spamton is also like shameless, shameless, shameless marketing. Quite cool. All right, done. Someone just farted. Oh no, do we have to fight Donkey Kong? The hell? What was that? Was that a poo? Was that a gigantic turd? Oh, I see. It's actually a mini game. Ah, uh, we can probably just go around. Oh, piss. We could probably actually take the path, right? I didn't realize that the hitboxes for these things were so big. Okay, I'm just gonna go around all of them. Uh, okay. Yeah. Done. We nailed it. We're on a mission. What the hell is that up there? Cactony comes to share his pain. Why? Uh, I'm gonna avoid him. You keep a safe distance between you and Cactony. What else is new? Oh, not a hell of a lot, I would say. Oh, no, he's trying to spike us. No! Bill Cosby, no! Don't spike me! Okay, good. We're going to avoid him. You keep a safe distance again. Why does everyone do this to me? I don't know, maybe because you're shooting needles at them? Have you ever considered that maybe they hurt? Okay, I'm going around that. What an asshole! Who the hell is throwing feces and walking here? <laughs> Dodge those spike balls, don't bust your balls. I don't, I don't bust my balls for anybody. Bro really thought he was going to be a main character. He could, he could have been. We just didn't allow him to be so. All right, we'll touch him. You give Cactony a careful pet between two spines. It's so warm. Is this what love feels like? Uh, in a way, yes. Oh, this is also a jibble thing. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yoink. Oh, piss. I got hit right at right the end for that. Cactony feels love for the first time. Oh, go away, you prick. <laughs> what is that? Is that just a piss factory? Are they processing piss up there? I think there's just like, there's a piss ore coming out of the mine. Cactus he comes to share in his pain. What, we just told this guy to leave? Okay, we'll touch him again. It's so warm, he didn't understand love initially. Excellent. I think we've kind of done it. We've, we've jeveled, we've out jeveled him. Nice. Speared. Good. Maybe it was spammed him. I can't remember. Oh, hello friendo. What's your name? You okay? Watch it. I have places to be. I got a call about a job in Snowden. I was supposed to be there yesterday, but the walk is really far. Wasn't feeling up to it. Oh well, on I go. Okay, what about this here? You spot a dark dislodged stone amongst this pile of rocks. Take it, yes. You got some flint. Okay, can we eat the flint? Let's see, can we eat it? You load the flint into your gun. That probably makes more sense, honestly. That probably makes a lot more sense. Captain is gonna hug you. Hell no, he's not. East mines. Okay, I'm not going in there. Yep, looks like I'm going in there. Doesn't look like we really have a choice, do we? This is kind of catchy. Is that a ring? Can I have it? A set of cubbies, dividing the miner's personal belongings. You notice a discarded belt buckle lining in one of the compartments. Take it. Yes, please. You borrowed a steel belt buckle. Okay. Excellent. Now we can play as stepdad. You attach the steel buckle to your belt. Oh, that makes sense. Your pants feel sturdier than ever. <laughs> I thought that we stuck it on our hat for a moment there. Set of cubbies, dividing things, a bow tie, a snow globe, trivia books, cobwebs, all very useful. To who? Who the hell to? Okay, uh, we are done with the bean ammo and the honeydew pin, I think. All right. What is through here? Uh, what is that thing? Is it a, an unknown from Pokemon? As a slime, I'm outraged. Okay. 
In case of fire, use stairs. Fine. How, how, how am I going to get to my station now? The elevator door is jammed, man. Jammed. Can I dislodge it? A piece of wood is lodged in between the elevator doors. What could fix this poor elevator? I don't know. I've got a gun. <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can probably just shoot it off, right? Okay, Flint won't do anything. What about the belt? No, we only took the buckle. Factory. Okay. Clover becomes a miner with an E. Yep. Excellent. We're the right material for a Minecraft girlfriend. In case the conveyor belt ceases to work, fix it. Uh, good advice, actually. What the hell is this thing? What do you want? Uh, I want the elevator. It's jammed again? I swear, nothing ever works here. I'm busy, kid. All right, fine. I'll leave you to your work. What about you, furry? What can I do for you, friend? Now, this guy right up here, he's not actually a monster whatsoever. He's actually a human, but he's wearing a furry costume. Oh, fiddlesticks. I've seen a few <coughs> pickles in my day, and this is uh, certainly one of them. Tell you what, I'll give him my trusty pickaxe. Here, if you win a monster trivia game. Oh boy, this will be fun, ooh woo. All you have to do is answer these three questions correctly. You only get one try, so do your best. Question one. Who is the current royal scientist? Choose the correct name. Uh, so at the seventh, that was probably after the accident, ac accident with Gaster. I'm going to say Alphys. Question two. What is most monster food made out of? Only one answer is correct. That would be snail, obviously. That was not correct. What do you mean it's not correct? That's the only food we found. Forgot to ask, I'm a furry, are they allowed? Yeah, sure, why not? So honestly, as long as you don't be cringe and shit, uh, anyone with any beliefs can be here, honestly. Hey, Sans, how you doing? Okay, whistling. Okay, we screwed up the trivia. Apparently, monsters don't eat snails, even though the only monster we've encountered here that has anything to do with Undertale is, you know, Toriel, and she only eats snails, as we know from Undertale. In case the conveyor belt ceases to work, fix it. Okay, there's no other way through. We did get a pickaxe. We should be able to dislodge it with that. Good. We'll come over through here. Tumblr. Jesus. That is the first time I've heard Tumblr mentioned in about six years, believe it or not. No one uses that anymore. Oh, we don't actually have the pickaxe. Well, that's embarrassing. What would we have gotten for doing that guy's quest? Would we have gotten anything? I don't know. Maybe not. Whistling. Uh, yep, Sans, this is Spamton. Spamton, this is Sans. You two would never have met because you both take place in completely separate alternate realities. Ah, fine. I'll lend you my pickaxe. For a price. That's 30 gold sound. Yeah, sure, I've killed enough things for that. Very nice. Oh, yeah, Sans, sexy Tumblr man in first place. Who the hell is still using Tumblr? It's like the, it's like the Bebo of, uh, of image hosting websites. We finally got a pickaxe. Excellent. I'm from the darkest realm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's something I'm not sure I should be proud of. What? Sexy Tumblr man. Okay, let's try and pick this open. Use the pickaxe to hack away the wood. We've done it. We've closed the doors, which in turn open. The pickaxe broke. Of course it did. What else is it going to do? Hey, this is nice. Did you just fart? I heard it. I heard that. I heard that fart. My dude, if you're not going to take accountability for it, just just don't do it in the first place. There you go. Another little one. And he sprinted off. He is super embarrassed because of that fart, I think. In case of water, swim. Oh, that's good information, actually. Okay, let's interact with this flowy stuff. Golly, the emblems on these minor uniforms are very interesting. Guess I'm the boss around here. Jokes aside, you got some smarts. <laughs> Fix that elevator with ease. Proud of you. Okay, I'll save here. Good, done. <laughs> the elevator ride awkward as hell. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I don't use Tumblr. I just put the meme up every once in a while, by the way. I don't think anyone uses Tumblr anymore. It's, it's a dead platform by this point. Bull charges near you. Uh, do we just push it? Can we tip the cow? There is a Toby Fox in its bag. Okay, I'm going to try taunt it. You point out the fragility of Bull's body. He looks distressed. Oh, the bull is the china shop. No, I'm practically made of steel. Cap. 
Is he dropping pellets? Are those poos? What is he firing into this mug of, of fluid? What the hell? Why is that such a long phase? Bowl is applying super glue to his head. Okay, I'm going to consult him. You asked Bolt to open up and be genuine with you. But I... I am tough. Ah, piss! Ugh! Okay, we gotta go in circles, it seems. I figured this one out real fast, I think. Good. Done. That's, that one's not so bad. Okay, Bolt is beginning to put the pieces together. Are they? Do we want to clean them? Use your bandana to wipe away some mud on Bolt. He sparkles! I didn't know I could reflect so much. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you what, there's, there's nothing like a bit of cleaning to do some reflection. We aren't taking a lot of damage, to be quite honest. I feel like the game's also giving us opportunity to get away from these little marshmallows, but also at the same time, it's kind of like leaning the marshmallows into one of the sides. Bolt is ready to discover his true self. Okay, we'll spare him then. Go away! We've got 12 buckery boos for helping him find himself. I just got recommended this channel. Have a sub. Oh, thanks, Cyberweaver. Who by? Go on, you, you tell me who by, and I'll give you a shout out specifically. Okay, we need to put the triangle here, so let's block. Let's hit that button right there. Nice, done, and we're gonna hit this button here again, and then we'll push that there. I'm pretty sure I've already solved this. We probably have to turn this around. There we go, good, and that's not right, so go down there as well. No, I mean, it showed up on my feed. Okay, um, big shout out to you there, Cyberfeed, who discovered my channel through the YouTube algorithm, which I didn't really think was working in my favor, but it seems to be. I don't need that bonehead's opinion. I just sub, just remembered. Welcome to, welcome to the BFD division, guys. The path has been open. Excellent. What's this guy up to? Great job. I knew you could do it, kid. Won't be another job until tomorrow. I can spend the rest of my workday uh, doing absolutely nothing. No, wait, I already was. Excellent. Love that. Tell him I've got a bone to pick. Oh, uh, that's a yucky, yucky pun. Okay. So through here, it seems like there's another miner cave. A cave full of miners. What is this? Epstein's Island? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry about that one. A set of mostly empty cubbies. Nothing too interesting. I'm glad he's dead. I'm glad Epstein's dead, to be quite honest. Uh, can we take this shirt? A lonesome safety jacket hangs on the wall. Take it. Yes. You got the safety jacket. Can I wear it? I'm going to wear it. People are going to think we're the foreman. You don't the stunning highlighted yellow jacket. You're all ready to take care of business. Excellent. We are the foreman. I lost all of my TNT. I have to tell the foreman. He'll fire me, I'm sure, but it's my fault. I would go tell him right now, but I lost my hard hat as well. I can't protect my dome from these hazardous rocks outside. Today isn't my day. Actually, that is really good, by the way. That is good advice. If you're ever doing any kind of industrial work, you've got to wear a hard hat. Um, while I was doing my first three months of carpenter i was i was a carpenter for about five years during the first couple of months i was working on an industrial site and we we're working on working on a, a four floor building and somebody dropped a crowbar a really big one off of the scaffolding and it landed right on my head as i was leaning over to install a window so it, always wear a hard hat on a construction site chat like the video for algorithm yes I don't think, so I don't actually think likes affect it too much on live streams. I think it actually affects the raw videos, um, per se. You're going to love this game, by the way. It feels like playing Undertale for the first time. I won't spoil anything, though. I played Undertale for the first time just a couple of months ago. Riz up a minor? Not a minor? Careful, buddy. Yeah, we'll riz up a minor. Uh, like a, a, an over-18 minor. Oh, yes, hard hat. Oh, we're kicking it away. I think that's the joke, right? It's like one of those memes where you just kick the hard hat repeatedly. A well-crafted steel minecart. So we can't have that hard hat. Oh, I know exactly what we're supposed to do. we got to kick it to him because we can't, like, bend over, can we? All right, I'm going to kick it over to him. And he's going to think that we are, in fact, the foreskin. Nope, foreman. It's foreman, not foreskin. Or is it? Hard to say. All right, here you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, yes, he loves that. It looks wrong. You. You found my hat. You are a kind soul. I don't have anything to give you, but I am eternally grateful. You got eternal gratitude. Nice. Where can we spend it? Where can we, where, where can we spend all of that? Dr. Disrespect Simulator. It is a little bit, isn't it? Whoa. Okay, a lot of falling rocks here. Hey, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're on the bridge. I'm just going to go. I'm going to gap it. And I'm only going to stop for the biggest rocks. Whoa. Oh my God. How are we not being hit by these? Is it because we're wearing a safety jacket? I'd say. All right, we made it. Oh, this guy loves his job. I just adore mining. 
Mine, 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 day and night. What is this guy, Ronnie Redkey? Got to find a whole bunch of sparkly gems. Here's Ronnie Redkey. Oh my god, that guy cannot write a single song without talking about himself for the entire duration of his songs, right? I remember what Dad said before he kicked the bucket. Hey, how far do you think I could kick this bucket? <laughs> He must have slipped and died, right? Broke his neck on the bucket. The shelf is lined with several books, some educational, some recreational. Really, a book titled Gemstone Fever catches your eye. Read it, it's probably smut, right? I will read it anyway. The underground has been the home to thousands of gemstones, yet only four types have been discovered. The Swelter Stone, you, yellow. This stone emits immense heat, some depending on its size. It is also the brightest stone, frequently used to illuminate various underground locations. We actually saw a couple of those over in the snow biome. A couple of people were keeping warm with them. The glacial stone, Q, blue. Opposite of the swelter stone, it emits a frigid temperature. I dated a girl like that once. This stone is abundant in cooler areas such as Snowden and Waterfall. The aromatic stone, Q, green. This rare stone smells like apples. That is all. The pink stone, Q, in the name. No trait for the stone has been discovered as of publication. You sift through the book and catch a couple more facts. With the temperature zones having higher quantities in certain areas, they can be a large factor in determining their location's climate. Gemstones do not have much monetary worth within the underground economy. Instead, they are often utilised for their traits, jewellery or other decoration. The largest gemstone to be discovered is located in the dunes. It is approximated to be as big as 10,000 hard hats. You close the book and put it back. You are now dizzy with gemstone fever. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, gotcha. It has been two days without a workplace hazard incident. Well, you're gonna have to set that to zero because I just got hit in the head with a gigantic rock. Hey, buddy. Welcome to the mining company Mines. I wasn't expecting visitors. If you have an inquiry, please take it up with my ass instant. Gilbert, please, we've been married 27 years. You can handle the questions yourself. S certainly, dear. Um. If you're going to ask about the hot conditions, I'm ordering more glacial stone coal packs later today. And if you're going to ask about the falling rocks, I'm going to investigate it soon. No need to worry. Everything is fine. So, what is it? Uh, firing. Someone isn't doing their job correctly. Well, I never. They deserve a good slap on the wrist. That they do. One more mistake and I will put them in the public execution room. I'll, uh, send Angie down to confront them with the guillotine and firing squad. There's nothing more effective than a firing squad and guillotine at the same time, I would say. He kicked it seven feet because it was plastic. Hey, I can kick it further than that. By the way, since you played Undertale, you are now legally obligated to play the Funny AI rewrite mod by Sybils. Never heard of it. It's either politically, really politically or really sexual. There is no in between. Okay, I might check it out. We're Papyrus. If anybody has any game requests for me, by the way, I have a Discord linked in the description of the stream. Go over there and drop it in the channel that just is called Game Requests. And I'll add it to the big list. It's a big list so far, though. Hey, it's a human. Your dog really loves me. <laughs> Your ass is... Yes. You won't fire... You won't fire them, will you? Of course not. The only monster I ever fired was the health inspector. Fired him before he arrived. Ah, oh, so that's smart, actually. What about this lady? What's she got to go? Hello there. My name is Andy. I'm the receptionist of Mining Co. How may I help you? Foreman. The foreman right over there is my husband, Gilbert. He's the boss of the mines, but I do more than him around here, especially the public executions. What was that? I work harder than you, dumbass! Hey. Yeah, you're right, actually. I am a massive dumbass. I'm just the biggest dumbass in the mine. It's a mutual understanding. And I love you for it. Dumbass! Okay, good. Well, we just saw some uh, domestic abuse occurring. Is this thing sexy? Is this thing trying to look sexy while it looks at oars? Oh, sometimes I make her do it. Sometimes my girlfriend like acts like a dog. <laughs> okay, what's up? You visiting or are you just lost? I work here. Haha, <laughs> that's cute, but you can't pull one over on me. The foreman doesn't hire kids, though several employees seem to have the brain of one. I'm sorry, that was mean. You're very smart, I'm sure. Enjoy your visit. Well, that's not very nice. How do they even know we're a kid? A well-crafted steel minecart. Cool. A rusty conveyor belt carrying various gems and stones. Okay, what about gemstones? Hard to say. Hard to say. There's an open box over here. I think we might find some explosives for our gun. You notice the UGPS logo on the crates. It appears they can handle more than letters. Yep, that's pretty obvious. Right, they just carry everything. Makes the most sense. 
piss pellets. <laughs> Do I pass? We have natural intelligence, Ray Wright of Undertale Yellow. This is, this is natural intelligence. This cave sure is ginormous. I hope this rail leads to an exit because it's getting stuffy in here. Enjoy the ride, pal. Also, I heard that fart from the elevator. That was crazy, wasn't it? So loud. It erupted throughout the entire mine. Okay, good. We're hopping into this minecart. Against our better judgment, but what would we know? We are just a miner. Pretty! My, uh, I had a stepdad when I was growing up. He worked in a, in a mine for um, a number of years, and I think that was probably the kindest he ever was. Simply because he was just too tired to be his usual dickish self. I'm not, I'm not salty about it or anything, but he was definitely a dickhead, and when he was too tired to do anything, that was when he was the most kind in his life. Why does Bro find that other monster sexy, just from how they're standing? They were like doing a sexy, like burlesque club. How they lean on canes. They poke their ass out when they lean on a cane and stuff like that. Hey, thanks for saving me back there. Now I can stand in place at a higher elevation. Uh, was that us? Did we do that? I don't think we did that. That wasn't us. No, we didn't do that whatsoever. Okay, so we'll do the blue first, I think. Okay, it's actually hard to interact with this thing. You gotta get real fiddly with it. Okay, good. This one needs to go straight up and down. And blue is golden. Done. Well, it's not golden, actually. It's sapphire. But the yellow one, that is definitely golden. Okay, so yellow should probably come up this way here. Which would cock this one out that way. Perfect. Now, where is the yellow one? It's way down here. Okay. So we can't take this straight right here anyway. We're going to have to... Basically work our way backwards from here. So this is all fine. Just got to cock that one in that direction. Nice. Now we got to push it. Excellent. Good. Uh, this one here can be cocked that away. This one would have to go up right. So that one has to go down there anyway. Hmm. This one's actually a bit of a struggle bus. We can't turn that one that way because that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Unless we then cock that that way, but then we'd be moving this in an entire circle. Uh, maybe we just m kind of filter it up through here. That's not going to work, actually. Okay, let's work our way backwards from this triangle. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with these. Probably got to go straight across this. Put this one facing that away. And that should actually go all the way through. All right, good. I'm going to interact with this thing. I interacted with the wrong side. Also, <laughs> thought that was from the elevator sharting bandit for a second. Right, I posted the trailer. Your suggestion channel on the Discord. Perfect. I'll take a look at it sometime. Make it go up, right? Then go straight forward. Okay. Well, I've already figured it out. Don't worry. I'm good at puzzles. I'm really good at puzzles. Even if sometimes I assume that they're more complex than they actually are. Uh, there's another open crate here. The crate only contains a few peanuts. Nothing useful. Okay, so we can't take those peanuts, it seems. Ah, well. Probably for the best that we're not giving a miner any peanuts. There's also AI rewrites of this game, Delta and Delta Traveler. Why? Why why can't people be creative with with their uh, with their writing? I write stories in my spare time. Some sell fruitcake sits in a bucket left over from a mining co holiday party. Take it? Absolutely. You got fruitcake. Excellent. Nice. What the hell is this thing? Hello, visitor. Did you venture through the whole mine? What a journey. For your troubles, I'll let you in on a little secret. You see, we aren't mining for gemstones at all. Those things are everywhere, practically worthless. We're actually mining for minerals like this one in front of me. They're used for building materials around the underground, you see. They're also very... You saw nothing. Uh... I think this guy is a Kelsophile. You know, somebody with an attraction to, to minerals and rocks and stuff like that. Oh no, it was an oh no moment, wasn't it? Uh, anything we can put back in here? We've got the steel buckle, we can probably get rid of it. I don't really want to though. We'll get the steel buckle on us for now. Alright, how do I use this? Alright, here we go. Hopefully no one's gonna get on this thing. Damn, they should have put that same guy on the elevator ride and then made it super long again. Where the hell are we? It would have been such a Toby Fox thing to do. Howdy! Hmm. 
Gee, would you look at that? I can almost see the king's castle from here. Eh, yeah, Asgore. Monsters shower him with praise, but it's totally overblown. See, he's what they call a boss monster. Means he has special traits, more power than others. When you take him down, his soul will stay intact, but only for a moment before... Boom! You win! I've heard this guy's immortal too. Yeah, an a second. But at least not anymore. Wild, huh? Boss monsters know how to cling to life, that's for sure. Hey, don't let all, all that info scare you. Immortal doesn't mean invincible. And still, a human soul is more powerful than a boss monster soul. Asgore might seem intimidating, but it's all show. Deep down, he's afraid of you. A true pushover. Anyway, just thought I'd prepare my pal for what's to come. I'm doing a sight. Okay, do I go left or right? Left or right? You guys pick. I lied. I'm going left. I'm going right. The full games, you should come back. Not that you're here to read this. I'm still here. Okay, you guys, you guys chat amongst yourselves. Get out? Yeah, we're getting out. Oh, I love this so much. This is cool, actually. Whoa. Damn it, I tried to screenshot before we got the uh, dialogue. Can we look this way? Yes. That's thumbnail material right there. Let's keep on running this way. I'm running! Spotlight? What? Alt! I, El Bailador, have tasked myself with confrontation. The air is much too quiet, much too dreary. You make no noise when you move. You lack rhythm, feeling, fervor. If I did not know any better, I might have mistaken you for a sentinel of silence. Oh no, this will not do. You must prove to me that you have what it takes. What it takes to live a life of rigidness. Uh, prove what it takes to be a big shot. I challenge you. To dance! Okay, fine. I'm gonna dance dance revolution. To truly find oneself, they must ignite a passion within. Let us duel! I want to see your spirit of fire! One and two and... Oh, okay, so we just... What? We just have to dodge them? Is that the case? It's time to dance! Bang. Okay, we missed the first one, and thus we do not get to land a single hit. Ah, that was much too simple. Let's try this! Do we have to, like, hit them and then move them? Oh, we got a hit. Ay, okay. So I'm using a PlayStation controller, so that didn't make any sense to me whatsoever. I'll save for the El Bailador fight, okay? Okay. I don't know if you spelled that right either. It smells like disco. Ooh, that's gross. Uh, I'm going to fire my gun into it. Bang, bang, bang. Nice. That's a bit, good bit of damage. Heating up! I love it. Okay. Bing, bing. Nice. We're gonna kill this guy. Good. El Bailador strikes a motivating pose. I am motivated to kill. Good. Bang, bang into your cheers. The passion, it grows. He's got a real Metaton voice, doesn't he? I'm trying to like sync it up to the actual uh, music of the game. Okay, it is sync. The sounds of a thousand trumpets echo around you. Great. Bang, bang, bang. Landing the hits is better than no crits. Aha, yes! This is what I live for. Bang. Well, this is actually kind of tricky. Why is he squatting like that? Why is he doing like a cat face? Well, the flashing lights make you dizzy. Yep, that's what I was feeling, actually. Okay, excellent. 40 damage right into his chest. A life without dance is empty, I say! Nice! Nailed that one! Okay. Good that we had a little bass solo there. El Bailador throws sand in the air like confetti. It blinds himself. Okay, good. Bang, bang, bang. Very good. Other Santa dots can also take life away. I do not see what they mean. Am I, am I playing along to the baseline? I can't tell. It's El Bellador. Okay, he glides around the dance floor with ease. I'm going to shoot him right here in his face. Uh, two more bullets and we should get him. A world of solitude and silence! That is not for me! 
The underground is too much too depressing, you see. Did they rhyme? Oh, piss off. Uh. Okay, I was trying to sink it, it didn't work. We've almost got him though, by the way. Well, the flashing lights still make it dizzy. Bang, bang, bang. Nice, that should be it. Huh. Ah. Oh. Well, I truly did not notice you were fighting me until this moment. Perhaps I upset you. I deeply apologize if so. I am beaten up pretty badly, huh? Well, I suppose it is my time to go. This is quite sudden, but at least I was able to dance for the whole world one last time. <laughs> I did have fun! The power of dance is a wonderful thing. Nice! He gave us 50 bucks for killing him. Or we, uh, took his wallet. I'm happy with that. Can we take this diverging path? No. Okay. Done! We killed old Bailador. What is this? Pick up the dimensional satchel? Sure. You got the dimensional satchel. Thanks. I... Why? <laughs> why, though? Where is it? Is it mail? No. Why did I take that? I mean, like, I don't care. It's free, right? It's free stuff. Ah. Oh. All right. Wait, isn't this the way we came from? Why are we down here again? Oh, this is a, a different place. Good. Howdy. Looks like we're back in solid ground. That mine sure was a detour. What a bunch of slackers. Anyway, let's keep up the pace, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna do a save. Good. Uh, there's a bat here on the seesaw. Uh, this playground used to be fun. Ever since my playmates stopped showing up, it's become boring. I wonder where they went. I probably killed them, to be quite honest. Oh, nice. It's like one of those little tipping, tipping uh, rides that kids get, get thrown onto. What does this say? Attention! Gift shop ahead. Great. Why does it say attention? There's a note attached to the cactus. What does it say? 50% on all of our product. Is this Mo? The S in product is crudely scribbled out. One product. Okay, what is it? This is what I think it is. Is this the coffee? Step right up! We got a blowout sale going on! It may look like we're almost sold out, but quite the contrary. We only ordered one stock of mug! It has been on this trusty shelf for 13 years! Demand is depressingly low, so take advantage of this offer now! Only 40 buckaroos! Do we take it? Do we buy it? I'm gonna buy it. Wait, seriously? I mean, yes, of course. Aha, aha, go fetch it off the shelf and I'll ring you up. I don't know even know if we've got enough money. I know that we just mugged that dancing guy. Enjoy your shards of glass. No charge anymore, buddy. You break it, you do not buy it. Okay, take the mug shards. Yes, please. Obtain glass ammo. What? Mugs aren't made of glass. That's the definitive thing that distinguishes glass from mugs. You cautiously load glass into your gun. Whew, no cuts. Since you bought the mug, I'll just have to sell the shelves themselves. Oh, that's something I'd buy. Okay, what else is this way? We've loaded glass into our gun. Okay, th we came from this way. Right. Let's go ahead. I'm pretty sure that the game is just going to tell us to keep on going right, right? Right is literally exactly the right way. Oh, look. Patches of grass. Why? Who? Oh. Rosa approaches from the flower bed, twisting a flower in her hand. Hi, Rosa. I just got some new ammo. Bang. Oh, it does quite a bit of damage, actually. My flowers are tapping the light. Oh, piss off. Okay. She's actually no joke. The pleasant scent of flowers fills the air. Yeah, what about the pleasant smell of glass in your face? She didn't like that. Just gotta hold on. Okay, gotta move through that. Move through that. Whoa! Move. Damn, why, why did I take damage? Petals fall around your feet. I was moving through it and then the phase ended so it forced me to take damage. What a crock of garbage. Oop. Bang! I just shot glass into her. You won! Awesome, we got 12 gold. Our love increased as well. I like that. Awesome! So glass actually does do a potent amount of damage. Good. Oh, hey, Flowey. What's up? Howdy. Gee, it looks like we're getting close to an exit from this place. Aside from those mines, time has been pretty friendly to us. Should be a simple journey from here on out. Clover? Great. Is that Toriel? Oh, okay. Clover! You're alive! You're out here! 
You're... here! I can't believe myself! I left you all alone in that cave! You had to brave the dunes by yourself? Yes, you are a crap friend, bird. I'm a horrible friend. I, I know I was just telling you about how crap a friend you are. They trust me to be a royal guard and I left a child for dead. Well, good guards make bad friends, usually. Like, what is wrong with me? Uh, calm down. I, okay, stop trauma dumping. I should take a full breath and properly assess the situation. The crash just happened so fast. When I saw what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over the sandy landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting an other monsters involved. They might have questioned me and I cannot keep secrets. They could have turned us into the more sinister royal guards. So I, uh, sat by a cactus for an hour, thinking of what a piece of garbage I am. Then got, I got the courage to travel back and apologize, but here you were. So, I'm deeply sorry. I don't ever forget. I, I, I am made of spite and conviction. That's basically it. Sorry I was gone. I was just listening to Undertale Yellow OST. Well, that's what I'm listening to right now. I don't really want to forgive her. No. Um, anyway, we should move on. I decided that I won't leave your side now. I'll follow wherever you lead. You just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I'd understand if you need to rest for a bit. If you want to hang around, that's great. I didn't get to sightsee at all on the way over here. Well then, friend, shall we be off? Great. I just told her how bad a friend she was, and she's decided to join us. Welcome to Oasis Valley. Thank you so much, Sign. Home to the largest body of water in the dunes. Is it actually? There's a couple of little pyramid crabs over here. Why do these look familiar? Pinch, pinch. Hey, <laughs> hey. Beware of my pincers, traveler. Oh, it's like the igloos. I see. I do not have any treasure hidden within my shell. Why do monsters keep asking me that? We are not caged within these fences, Traveller. It is a choice. It is nice to live in a familiar place with the pack. It is also nice to be fed and taken pictures of. <laughs> oh yeah, what the, what's in this dune over here? Nothing. I was hoping some, we could shoot sand out of our gun, maybe? Metaton has joined the chat, has he actually? Okay, so we can go up. There's also this giant pot right here. What's in here? Oh, a fortune teller. Hello, Traveller. Would you be interested in having a fortune told? Only five gold per fortune. Now, you may be thinking that price is a little low. What quality fortune from an experienced fortune teller costs five gold? Well, your suspicions would be correct. See, I'm a fortune teller in training, so I'm selling tiny fortune. Practice, you see. So, can I interest you in a bite-sized fortune? Yes, please. Let us see what the world has in store for you. Hmm. Oh dear. The future seems to indicate you're in for a tumble. Oh, no, no, no. It looks like a big one, too. It will happen very soon. Hang on. It's already happened. Oh. Bumbleweed. I guess I got a little excited and missed that second part. <laughs> Sorry for the scare. It looks like everything is fine after all. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the fortune. What is this? Hello, darling. How are you doing today? It's a lovely day, ain't it? This guy trying to... Riz me? Is it always this hot and humid, you think? I just moved here with, from Snowden, so I'm not sure yet. But a local like you would know, right? I got a question for you, actually. Do you develop some sort of spectrum of hot round here? See, like, not just hot, but blazing hot versus sweltering hot. You know what? You look busy. We'll talk later or something. It's called acclimatization, my dude, and it happens literally everywhere you go. There you go. Consider yourself educated, idiot. This monster is too busy quenching their thirst to speak. With eye-catching water like that, who could resist? Can we drink from it? Your reflection sparkles and distorts in the pool of water. You notice a high-tech filtration system keeping it drinkable. Is it sand? <laughs> Is the filtration system sand? There's a cafe here. What? Seriously? Hello, Thing. Have you given up your life of being a wrangler to experience modernism? I highly suggest doing so. It is the most prestigious life one could choose. Chic architecture, light switches, latte machines, it's all here. Once you indulge, you can't stop. Yeah, that is true, actually. I remember this game working more efficiently in the past. <laughs> the air pressure seems to have been tampered with or something. Considering this table doubles as the AC, that ain't good news. Okay, let's try and play some air hockey. Let's do it. I can't. I can't fit. What is this? Spend three gold to play? Sure, done. Mew Mew Love Blaster. Ooh! Play the Mew Mew game? No. 
Is this like a... Is this what I think it is? Avoid sadness, spread the joy. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We are definitely taking a lot of hits. I gotta really jam these things full of love, huh? Okay, we've only got one more life left. Damn, these things actually hit real hard. Whoops. Uh-oh! Yeah, we did. We got a score of 60. Is that good? That's probably really good, right? Help me. Okay, dash to safety. Hold B to go further. Give it your all. Hold A to shoot. Sure. Okay, we'll try it again. Let's see if this actually works. Oh, it does work. Okay. Boop, boop. Oh, damn it. I took a hit anyway. There we go. Nail that guy right in his, right in his face. Kind of hard to dodge all of these attacks. Oh, Alright, well, that was fun. Did we all enjoy that? Oh, that is so cringe. <laughs> what about this one? Out of order. Please stop feeding it money. <laughs> what about this racing game? Oh, there's someone in it. Yo, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a gaming sesh. Oh, you're a kid like me. I bet you're good at these machines. Have you tried out Mew Mew Love Blaster? It's addicting. I suck at it, though. I hear there's a final boss, but I've never seen anyone reach it. I bet you could totally kick its ass. Okay, I'm not even going to try it. Let's go up here. A child's drawing depicting three happy monsters. My precious family, buy me. Hello, friendo. I would sell you something, but I'm on strike. The owner needs to better himself. That's me. I'm the owner. Fair enough. I'm going to Mew Mew, my love blaster. Ooh, brother, ooh. Brother, ooh. What's in here? Hello there, jewelry seller. Visiting from the Wild East, are you? I must say, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Welcome to my abode, younger one. As you may notice, I have a knack for the preservation of life. Grass is very rare here. For any to grow, there must be a source of water close by or amongst the ground. I try my best to keep my own little patch happy. It's one of my many hobbies. Uh, can we go in there and stand on it? Above the table is a painting of a large swelter stone. It's almost as if the heat leaps right off the canvas. It probably is a swelter stone. To be quite fair. Okay, we can't go into that guy's uh, closet. You found 30 gold in one of the pants pockets. Take it? Hell yeah. Nice, we just ransacked this guy's laundry. That feels good, actually. I love ransacking that guy's laundry. Uh, we should probably move on, right? We'll take this bird with us and we'll see what we can do. We haven't seen the vampire in a wee while either. Okay, there's a lock gate here. A large ornate gate. Unfortunately, it's locked. Bird. Bird, bring me over. Okay, fine. Hmm. Doesn't really look like there's a hell of a lot else for us to do here because we've kind of talked to everyone, right? I feel like we have talked to everybody. Is there like a south we can go? Yes, there is. Okay. We'll check out down here. Free hugs. <laughs> hey, dude. I know you'll say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Darn it, you already read my sign, didn't you? I hate myself. I'll give you a free hug. No, don't bother asking. I'm closing shop, okay? This was a dumb idea. Even if you did hug me, which would be sick, I'd probably kill you. Not intentionally, of course. That'd be a crime, and I hate crime. Oh, great. You might be a criminal, and now you definitely won't hug me. Just walk away. It would be better for both of us. Like, what about the spider? Bake sale, bake sale. Can eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. All proceeds go to spiders in need. Will you buy a spider donut for seven gold? Yes. You got a spider donut. Thank you. You are most gracious. Have a nice day. I will try. What's in here? A sapling sits within the ground, new to life and unsure of itself. It is full of potential, but it has yet to reach it. One day, it might. What about this vine right here? Nothing. Okay. Don't know what the hell we're supposed to do with that. Wait, I just remembered something. There's a boss you need to fight after you fight his gang. Who's his? Who is his? Some kind of ancient description. <laughs> That's where kids play. Is this a bench? Probably. After you fight his gang. Whose gang are you even talking about? Ugpiss. Okay, we'll call the Ugpiss whale. Hello? Come on. You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is? Mail time! You receive mail. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. Okay. I'll pass on your, your wishes to Yen Set. I hope she likes her mail as well. Mail! Oh, we've got a bag now. No, we always had a bag. Item stats, bag, mail, talk. There's so much to see in this town. I'm getting some strong Honeydew Resort vibes. After I get tired of keeping the peace every day, I might move here. 
a mighty fine retirement plan. Yeah? Yeah, maybe. Okay, we'll go ahead and go into our mail. Shuffler's letter. Who's Shuffler? Our latest Shuffler's recruit, Toast, here. There's someone out in the wild that we forgot to warn you about. The scruffy fellow with a big blue hat. Don't interact with him or support his endeavours. I won't tell you why, because this letter reads way cooler as a mystery. Now I'll let Swig finish this. He gets upset when he misses out on writing letters. Yeah, upset. Swig. Excellent. Okay. He's really vibing that whole lackey vibe, isn't he? Oh, oh, hey, Clover. Remember how I told you I apprehended a human last week? That's her. Huh? What? You still think I'm... Your captain did explain to you I'm not a human, right? Please tell me she did. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just thought you... No, no, I'm sorry. I just uh, get it so often. It's totally fine. You wouldn't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. N not that you're a grumpy monster. I'm sure you're very nice. Um, anyway... What's your name? It's Sea Lover. I love Sea. Huh? No, not you, silly her. I actually, how about Red? That's why your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. <laughs> to be honest, I hope that eventually I'd be caught enough that you'd all recognize me and it'd stop. It might just be wiser to join the guard at this point. Join? That would be fantastic. I'd be glad to show you the ropes of my job. You can even help me build puzzles. That might be cold violation now that I think about it. Oh, it's fine. What? It can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join. We'll figure it out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to, but I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. Oh, you're serious. Uh, I mean, <laughs> sure? S uh, sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya. Ah. Why not the fellow with a cowboy hat? Sorry? Clover, not Sea Lover? Absolutely not. I, you are dead wrong in this aspect. It is Sea Lover. We are Sea Lover in this. We've got a little watering can here. Can't take it, though. Open up! It's the police! Open up! Sorry, I'm not home. Sorry, I'm not home. Open the goddamn door! This is the police! Sorry, I'm not home. Okay, fine. Fine! We're not gonna go up there, then. What's in here? This is... Kind of relaxing. I do kind of like how the soundtrack changes. It's kind of like thematic consistency, depending on where you are. Is that a Snorlax? Sorry, buddy. This path is blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. Your boss behavior. I'm going to kill that thing. I've already decided I'm going to kill it. <sighs> You're so clearly home. Everyone calls the player Clover, though. So? This is not everybody else's playthrough. If you want to watch somebody else play Undertale Yellow, you go to another channel, you watch another YouTuber play Undertale Yellow. This here is my channel, and I say see that she is Sea Lover, okay? She is Sea Lover. The dune's wishing well. Oh, G. Hold a G close to your chest, think of what you want most, and toss it in. You never know. If enough monsters wish for something, it may come true. I want some C. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, I left all my gold back at home. Would you lend me one? Sure. Thank you. Remember when we tried to kill her? Hmm. I wish. I wish that seal of her would make it back home safely. Now you have me and a wish on your side. Yeah, but you told me what it is, so unfortunately it's not going to come true. Yeah, it's sea lover. It's sea lover. She's sea lover. She loves the sea. Do you guys decide what that is? <laughs> Uh, can we ransack this here abandoned car? Oh, I see. An old base with an iron nails holding it together. Oh, sorry, I was just nerding out for a second. Sure is a cool wagon. Okay, we're going to avoid that wagon right there. Wow, this is long. Good thing we started running. Where's the sound? Oh, hang on, I think someone's coming this way. What? Is this supposed to be Undyne as a kid? Guys, looky here! Someone you has stumbled into our humble town. This better not be another joke. Guys, don't look like it is! Hi, strangers. Oh, hello. We're just passing through. We mean no harm, I promise. That's what the last guy says. Let's just stay with the wind now. Oh, oh my gosh, you... 
<laughs> I'm just getting around. Get a second in your boots for a second. Oh, no, you sure got me. It wasn't very funny, Edward. I can assure you, we're a delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. I... Ugh. Why do you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never oversteps her bounds. Never! Um, well, it was a pleasure to meet you four, but we'll be going now. Hold it right there, Missy. All right, who runs this gang? Who am I gonna shoot with my gun? Are my pals giving you trouble? Come now. That ain't a way to treat guests now, is it? The name's North Star. I run this town. Not alone, of course. The fine monsters in my posse. Together we are... The Feisty Five! This age well. Our name stands for... Fearlessness! Excellent! Intuition! Sneakiness! Business! Youthfulness! Justice! The J is silent. Anyway, now that we're introduced, I'd be glad to give you your buddy a tour. Hold on. Your buddy. Are they, uh, human? Um, well, I won't say no. I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind. This kid is a real, living, authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize this once in a lifetime opportunity. Ed, fetch me that kid. Kissing! <laughs> Wait, what are you doing with Sea Lover? Ah, uh, Clover, is it? That's a mighty fine name. To answer your question, Feathers, Sea Lover and I go into town to run. No, Feathers, me. You're speaking to Martlet of the Royal Guard. I can and will report you to King Asgore for this abrasive behavior. Your royal guard? That's funny, because I don't see anything to indicate that. No armor, weapon, badge. I left it all at my post in Snowden. Please, don't bother trying to fool us. He's right. I'm truly sorry about this, I really am. But business is business. Together, we'll be the feisty six. There's a division. Shh. See, lover, I can't go up against these guys. Don't worry, I'll figure this out. If only one of us had, like, a gun of some sort. <laughs> Star, should we be doing this? Poor Maudlet is upset. Don't be a buzzkill, Moray. When's the last time something exciting happened around here? You've got a point. <clears throat> this town's full of excitement, especially now. Let's go, bud. Oh, and feathers. Welcome to the Wild East. <laughs> this stupid look on our face. <laughs> have an announcement to make. I wasn't looking at the screen. I think I missed some exposition. Thank you, Edward. I didn't want to have to walk that way. This little fella here is Sea Lover. Hey, Star. What the hell are you doing bringing a human in here? It's a robber hush. Now I know what you're all thinking. But trust me, Sea Lover here ain't no greenhorn. They know what they're doing. Just look at that hat. <laughs> Actually, this could be fun. Dana hit me. Who was that? All right, no more heckling from the crowd. <clears throat> Ladies and gentle monsters, as Soroba said, Sea Lover is a human. Ooh! I know, exciting stuff. A real honor. Now, I would let Sea Lover tell you all about their life, but I've been studying up. I'm a bit of a human expert, if you didn't know. Oh, great, here we go. Here we go indeed. Did you know that humans use monsters for transportation? Ooh! It's true. Large four-legged monsters. They put a seat on the top of them and everything. They're called horses, Star. Oh, so you know one of them personally. That's quite impressive. Did you also know that humans are fireproof? When they're feeling accomplished, they ride monsters straight into a huge fiery sphere. So the monsters burn, right? Most monsters aren't fireproofs. Star, are you saying my friend Horses was killed by a fiery spear? No, um, well, I'm not quite sure. I'll ask Sea Lover. 
Did the monsters die? Yes. Then I regret sharing that fact. Pretend I never said nothing. Anyways, did you know that? Look, sir, you don't need to keep this up. Because it's all true. Every word. Ah, I knew it. I'm pretty darn good, aren't I? You're the best. Yeah, the only sheriff for me. Huh. Well, I reckon we're done here. Y'all can go back to your daily lives for now. As for you, sea lover, it's about time you see what the town had to offer. I would give you a personal tour, but if there's one thing you have, where you come from, it's freedom. Take your time exploring. Talk to the townsfolk and enjoy yourself. I'll be waiting here for you. Give me a shout when you're ready to start training. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for this opportunity. What is this thing? North Star is the coolest. One time, a construction team was demolishing a building, a new home. But, uh-oh, an infant was in the way of the building as it came crashing down. Suddenly, North Star appeared and wound his lasso up. He wrangled that skyscraper without breaking a sweat. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! For saving his life, the building gave North Star one million gold. True story, true story. What the hell are you talking about? Hello there, crowd. Everyone is wrapped up in conversation. Quite the popular spot. Oh, hey there, Fallen Sky. He's pulling a star out. Ew. What about this guy in the crate? I'll come right out and say it. Yes, I am a finger. I came free with the last shipment of the bottles. Oh, right, a, f a finger of whiskey, gotcha. You're a sea lover, am I right? Your name has come up once or twice. Hmm? You look confused. Oh, right, I'm not rhyming. Yeah, that's just a company policy. Oh, it's the whale. It gets a little tiresome sometimes. But other than that, I have no complaints. It's a great job. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Fair enough, honestly. Oh boy, this is so nostalgic. Yeah, and I'm only playing this for the first time. I'm a little worried, though. These days, those fancy cell phones are all the rage. I don't know how long the mail service will... Oh, me. Oh, my. My break's coming to an end. See you the next time there's letters to send. And away he goes. I love that slide. Everyone is now using that slide on YouTube. I don't know why. Several monsters are enjoying a nice fair game of poker. How do I keep losing? <laughs> well, probably because this thing is made of eyes. I would say it's omniscient. That's a G in the table right there. Let's see what this is all about. Howdy howdy, human. Take a gander at my wares. Hard hidden stuff is off limits. No. Sell. This is a bar, not a marketplace. Try blackjack down the road if you want to barter. Okay, what about talk? This town. Oh, this little place. It's pretty fun around here. I heard it was established some years back when the dunes gained its name, if you get me. I should be polished on its history, but start don't talk about those days. I was looking for a friendly environment to share my brewing skills, so here I am. There ain't terribly much to do in this town, but that only makes it more close-knit. Every day has been pretty predictable until you showed up. I'm eager to see what Star's planning. Okay, what about your snakes? Yeah, <laughs> I get this question a lot. These fellas are my pets. Real reptiles, not monsters. Their names are Anne, Sammy, and Bert. The underground still houses some critters from the surface like birds and insects. I found these west of here, hiding in a crevasse of sorts. Some monsters think I'm keeping pets as strange, uh, but I think it's cute. They give me someone to talk to when business is low. At least I don't I don't star my, uh, my low. Well said. I don't know what that means, but well said. Can I leave? You can at any time. Won't hurt my feelings. Oh, I see. Star's trying to keep you here since it's a big deal and all. That ain't right if you wanted to go. I try not to infringe on Sheriff business, but I'll ask him about it soon. I'm sure he means well by it. North Star? What a character. A big and courageous Sheriff. I get a feeling he ain't as tough as he likes to play up. But then again, maybe he's just clumsy. His whole posse is a hoot. They frequently post parties here. He definitely knows the right kind of monsters to surround himself with. Not to mention Sarova, his childhood friend. I get a kick out of her and Star's antics. When she brings her daughter into town, it's basically two against one. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I saw the rascal. We really need to get the whole gang together again. Okay, we want to buy something, right? We can't buy this adult soldier. I want it. Give it! Okay, what about this feisty slider? Whoa, okay, that heals 30 HP. It's a little baby burger. Root beer? All of this is just crap. Okay, I'm not buying any of that crap. Have fun out there. No, I'm being kept here against my will. What are you made of? The saloon isn't always this crowded. It's happy hour, you see. Half price drinks. But you don't know that, so I'll continue to sell you full price drinks. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, I want to know what's wrong. I'll tell you what's wrong. 
My life's a wreck. Wasted, woeful, washed up. I was supposed to make it big. I was gonna be a big time producer. You know, show business. I couldn't tell you where it went wrong. I studied hard, I graduated mid middle school. What else do you need? Snuck my way into gig booking at a joint in Hotland with potential in my eyes. One day, this robot fella rolled up to me and asked if I've ever produced an artist. Now, I'm a great producer, make hot beats on my computer every weekend. I had the talent, but I lacked the vision. I told that one world television they wouldn't make it in the industry. What an idiot I was. They soon garnered a following and totally exploded. Not literally, maybe. <laughs> Look, kid, I'll tell you this. Sometimes it's like we don't control our lives. Fate has a cruel way of teaching us lessons. Have a little foresight and try not to grow arrogant like I did. Don't you forget that. That guy's obviously referring to Metaton, who was in the, the base game, whose sole purpose was initially to kill humans and then harvest their souls so that it wouldn't go into another monster. Then they could jar the soul and then save it for something else. That's why there were so many jars around the place in the hidden laboratory down in the hidden laboratory in the base game where Alphys was kind of hiding all of the amalgamates, right? So, I think at this point, the ghost is now possessing the Metaton because we're probably, this game is probably supposed to be taking place after Gas's death and thus Alphys has repurposed the um, machine that kills things. What an introduction, right? Hope you didn't have any stage fright. Stages can be so scary, all wooden, occasionally making faces at you. Cowboy, good at really, really good observation. Okay, we've seen enough, right? We can just leave. Can we just leave? Let's just try and leave. Hello, child. You there, human. You okay? Uh, not really. <laughs> About what I expected. I apologize for the star's antics. It's really into human culture and whatnot. You show up here and he flips out. I mean, it is quite unbelievable. A few humans have wandered into the underground before, but they never set foot in those sands. My name is Saroba. I'm a friend of stars, but not a part of his posse. They're a bit too rowdy for my taste. May I ask your name? I am Sea Lover. Welcome to the underground, Sea Lover. Your attire is surprisingly, I must say, but um, I won't press you on the matter. I'm afraid Star is going to drag you into his activities for a while. You must have places to go, correct? The castle? The barrier? You probably want to go home. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this ecstatic in some, some time. Maybe you should entertain him a bit. Roll with his punches. He'll probably allow you to leave eventually. Well, good luck, Clover. Oh, damn, she said our name wrong, didn't she? What an asshole. I forgot how I found this stream. Probably doesn't matter. Probably YouTube's algorithm. These guys are arrested. You gotta get me out of here, kid. I have a family, hopes, dreams, TV programs I've missed. Oh no, I didn't do nothing bad, I swear. I can't. See, lover. I knew I could, I knew I could counter you. So, me getting out of here? Any luck? No, it's all okay. I knew it would be difficult. This is infuriating. Anyway, that Sheriff North Star, was it? <laughs> what a jerk. I tried to fight for you, I really did. His hooligans were too strong and tossed me in here. Knowing that, I don't think force will do much good. There's gotta be a level-headed monster here around here. One that knows this is unjust and will free me. When that time comes, I'll... I'll... Who am I kidding? I couldn't press charges or anything. I talk big, but we're cornered. As Gore or another guard finding out about you would be the end. <sighs> well, North Shore seems pretty enthusiastic about all of this. Maybe by playing along, you can gain his favor and set me free. I don't know. Just playing it cool for now. I'll be here. Ugh, what a day. Can I just open the door from outside? No, I cannot. Okay. By the way, it's pronounced Clover, just to let you know. No, it's no. You can't cap me. You, it, you can't cap me. I know how it's pronounced. What's up? Not much. Um, about Marlet. I totally get why you'd be upset, but I can explain, I think. See, if she is a royal guard, that would cause problems. She threatened to report Starter King Asgore. One thing leads to another, and the Wild East is in flames. Well, maybe. I'm sure Asgore would understand, but there are others. The head of the royal guard, particularly. Hopefully you didn't have a run-in with her. I mean, I've never met her. I've just heard we look alike. Okay, we'll come down here, talk to this raccoon dude. Hey, I don't know if you're aware of this, but... There's a fun card game we set up in the stable. My friend runs it while I oversee the, uh, profits. You should try it out. Okay, is this blackjack? I'm really good at blackjack. That is probably the only, uh, game of chance that I can just consistently win at over time. Howdy, he's got a little cowboy hat on. Geez, seems like my greetings has found its home. Like the hat? It's a disguise. This area is pretty populated, so I picked this up to be safe. You being separated from Martlet is pretty lucky, but I hope this star guy doesn't hold you here for long. 
I may have to intervene if he does. Okay, we'll go ahead and save here. Done. What else are we going to be talking to? There's a direction we can go this way, it seems. No, there isn't. Let's go talk to Edwin. Hey, kid. Jerry for Pants are fourth for Olivia. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. There's nothing to snap up on us, and that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. And my tongue is just so huge. I hope you can hear me past my speech impediment. Okay, is this a hole on the ground? There's a hole on the floor. How comfy. Okay, this has got to be where they all sleep, right? Some kind of berry plant. You notice a few berries are missing. You press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by the memory foam. So soft. D did it remember? You press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by the memory foam. No, it did not remember. A firm sleeping bag sits in the corner, threatening to restrict free sleepers. I do actually quite like sleeping in sleeping bags. I'm, cla I'm claustrophilic. What is this? Is that a dirty plate? You push the hammock. It's sway. It's hypnotizing. Okay, what about this oven? A surprisingly clean kitchen. Impressive. That was a weird sound. A couch, <clears throat> not unfit for a thrift store. These cramped living conditions are bringing back unpleasant memories. Oh, we got some lore about our character. A few videotapes with custom labels stuck on them. My favorite movie. My second favorite movie. Don't watch this one, zero out of 10. What is that, Borderlands, the film? Ha, <laughs> got him. Ah, uh, do you think it's too personal asking someone for their Discord? Uh, no. There's actually a link to my Discord in the description of this video if you want to join it as well, by the way. I don't like Edward. He's not Sigma. No, he's Ligma. He's Ligma and he's, Su he's Sigma as well. You turn the TV on. I hate that. This is your favorite channel. All right, we don't get reception down here, it seems. Okay, so nothing in there. There's a rock here. We can't do anything with it. I think this is... What is this, a hospital? There's a cactus here. This town is quite the spectacle, is it not? Aha! I would bury myself in the sand if I could. Yep, yep. Well, you can, actually. It's not like it's rock. Okay, let's not go in there yet. I think this is a hospital. Hiya! Swell job sitting on that stool. I have a feeling you'll be the talk of the town. We're going to have so much fun training together. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Swell job sitting on that stool is probably actually what a doctor would say to you after retrieving a sample of your poos, right? I got told in another stream to stop asking personal questions, even though they weren't that personal. I'm an open book, honestly. Like, it's one thing to try not to dox oneself, but at the other end of it, if something is too personal, I'm just gonna either give you an absolute garbage answer that's obviously satire, or I'm just gonna say, no, that's too personal. I basically apologized and said sorry because I didn't want to argue. That's not right. Uh, people shouldn't be taking out their insecurities on other people. A closet with some cleaning supplies inside. They all look brand new. Okay, good. You don't know what you're looking at, but it's probably dangerous. He's not only Ligma, but Sigma, but he's also Kizma. Well, like, if you take Ligma and Sigma, you get Sigma, right? That's the thing. I also asked uh, if they know each other, which is four people. If they were talking to each other, they probably did know each other. A nap sounds nice. You probably just got, uh, you, I think you were probably just talking to an asshole, maybe? Maybe that was your issue. Maybe, maybe you were engaging in conversation with an asshole on the internet. Hey, what about these drawers? The drawers are filled with clean sheets and pillowcases. Gross. A nap sounds nice. Taken anywhere but here. What's wrong with here? A nap sounds nice. Taken anywhere but here, okay. Uh, there's a plague doctor here. Welcome to the Wild East Clinic. We put the hospital in hospitality. <laughs> they call me the doc. Are you sick? Hurt. What is your diagnosis? I'm hurt. Yes, of course. We have a tough one. I have just the boost you need. For an upfront price of 30 gold, I can overcharge your health. It is an experimental medicine, but who said I was qualified? What do you say? Deal! Come closer and I'll begin the procedure. Pfft. Sticks knife in me. Little bit of this. And done! You gain plus 15 extra HP. When the energy wears off, it's gone for good. You can always visit me again for more, but only one at a time. I might take risks, but I'm not crazy. Haha. Uh -huh. Mmm. Okay. We just overcharged our health. <sighs> What's the tight? Just wanted to know if I'm in the wrong or if the moderator is in the wrong. There's a, okay, so that actually indicates a rather complex situation. When a YouTuber gets big enough, um, I will have to do this eventually. When a YouTuber gets big enough, they have to have moderators to moderate chat. They have to manage their social media presence. They have to manage any social media platforms that they have. They've got to stick all their metadata in their things. It spreads the YouTuber themselves too thin. So when they get moderators involved, you can't actually trust that the moderator is just as good at people skills as the person who is in front of the camera. So 
Uh, that is why I don't have any moderators on my channel whatsoever. It is all done by me. Because I cannot trust that somebody will not just lash out and use their own position of power against a chatter, which is just wrong. Then I said I'll stop now and left. Yeah, because that's what happens. When you get someone who doesn't have people skills moderating a chat, then it drives people away, which is the last thing anybody wants. By the way, I just joined Discord. Okay, I'll check you out there. I'll check you out there. Hello, I'm here for a few Wowie Pops. Okay, check me if in. The dog said he went out of Wowie Pops yesterday. Bummer. At least I have this fluffy bear to cheer me up. Okay, great. Several odd smells seep from the dresser. You decide not to inspect it further. One of them smells like corpses. This one just snores when you interact with it. Oh, thank the Lord. You can't just mash the button and overlay the sound over itself either. I think that we found something like that in Deltarune, and it just sounded like absolute ass. Okay, a little bit of a weird bug there. I'm going to go ahead and save, even though we've done nothing, but get our health. I wasn't lying about being close to an exit earlier. I just didn't expect all of this. On the bright side, you may be able to obtain some gear upgrades here. This roadblock isn't totally pointless, huh? Okay, done. Saved. So I don't want to get banned for nothing, for not doing anything wrong. That is fair enough, honestly. It is a huge complaint that a lot of people have. Although, equally, a lot of people complain more on my channel about YouTube's chat feature not sending some messages more than they complain about me being a callous piece of garbage. There's a horse here. This guy's wearing a horse mask. Is this Gibbet Flying Horse? Nay! Nay! It sounds like Gibbet Flying Horse. Nay, I say! For I am a horse, each and every day! <laughs> I crunch upon carrots and munch upon hay, but a shy horse I am, so please go away. Okay. Blackjack. Greetings. May I interest you in a game of six shooter? It is a simple card game of the matching variety. It costs three gold to play with a potential of profit. Intrigued? Yes, I like making money. I will explain its rules, so listen carefully. A stack of 36 cards will be split into 20. And then laid on the table separate, separate, separately. A stack of 36 cards will be split into 20s, so we're four cards short, should be split into 18. There are six card types, each with a different familiar face. You must match cards of the same face, but only if they are touching. Once two are matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the reserve six card deck will replace them. Your goal is to empty the table by matching every card. If you win in under 45 seconds, you'll be rewarded 25 gold. Under a minute, you'll be rewarded 15 gold. Any time after that will allow you to break even with three gold. If the deck is empty and there are no possible matches left, you'll lose with no reward. Do you understand? Yes. Let us play. Okay. Is it memory? Two. One. Let's go. Whoa. Okay. Here and here, there and there. And of course, uh, piss. This and this. Good. And also these two. Done. And of course, these two here. Nice. And these two as well. And these two are right next to each other. That's low hanging fruit. Whoa, poos. I don't see any that are touching each other. Oh no. Did we screw up? I feel like we may have accidentally screwed up a little bit. Uh, oh, this is uncomfortable. I think we've screwed it. I think we've actually screwed it up. That's not good. Ah oh, well. I forgot about that card game. Most favorite boss theme in Undertale Yellow so far for you, by the way. Has to be the uh, the mariachi guy, right? The The, the dancing disco man. Uh, we're doing neutral as well. We're doing a neutral run. Was the mod banned for driving viewers away? God, they should be, shouldn't they? Uh, we can't match anything. We don't. We literally don't have anything to match. This is awkward. I'm not blind, right? Unless these two. Oh, they can go diagonally as well. God, I wish I knew that earlier. Okay, okay, okay. So these two as well. That makes it significantly easier, actually. Good, these two. Uh, we're going to beat the next one in record time. I'm going to play this again. We're going to bet it real fast. Okay, need these two to go away so that we can get these two, which means we can get these two here. And now we can't do anything else. We failed! Woo! Woo! Did you beat Sans? No. El Bellador? Yes, that's the guy. That's the guy. I love him so much. A shame. Would you like to play a game? Yes. Okay, let us play. I'm going to beat this one this time. All right. I'm focusing. I'm gonna try hard, guys. I'm gonna try really, really hard. I'm gonna try as hard as I possibly can. Let's get these two Sly Coopers out of the way, and next are these two, of course, and now these two raccoons, and now whatever the hell these two things are. I have no idea what they are. Uh, these two in the corner, they can go next, and of course these two stars right here. 
I'm going for the vertical ones as best as I can. And I will worry about the horizontal ones or kind of like diagonal ones later. Okay, there we go. Two more here and here. We've got two here and here. Okay, we have no more. Oh, that sucks. That's really unlucky. Only fans? Uh, no, I don't have only fans. A shame. Would you like to play again? No, I've had enough. <laughs> like, I, I get the game, but it seems right at the end of it that it's just RNG based. Okay, what does this guy have for sale? Howdy. You got any of that, uh, any of that good catnip? I'm dying to try some. Is what I would say if I were a dirty bandit. Nah, you're almost tricked. I could have caught you and turned you into the feisty five. Haha, <laughs> be more careful, partner. Yeah, that was real close. Two boxes of rubber pellets sit on the desk. Best leave them for someone who needs them. Yeah, we've got glass. We've got broken glass. Got junk? Sell it right here at Blackjack's. Today's special, fancy holster. Great for defense. Well, we could definitely use that. Hey, buddy. Let's go ahead and buy his fancy hot War, ro wild revolver. You're too young. What do you mean I'm too young? I've got a gun. Silver ammo? I think that's worse than what we've got, though. Oh, apparently gunpowder is edible. That's weird. All right, this is kind of potent, actually. Let's go ahead and buy that, and then let's also sell a bunch of crap that we don't want. What do we want to sell? The steel buckle, sure, done. Thank you, I'll make good use of this. I bet you will. That flint can also go into his pockets. Uh, realistically, probably not going to be using much else, but, you know, it's best to have it. Love this theme? I know, it kind of slaps, isn't it? I'm going to be Sigma in Discord, I swear. Good. Undertale Yellow Genocide is harder than Undertale Genocide. Yeah, Undertale Genocide was actually weirdly easy. I think I've had it in about uh, five or six hours. The Feisty Five. I was hoping you wouldn't ask about them. Sigh. Young hooligans are all they are. Hooligans I'm forced to put up with to keep my business afloat. What's up with the gun, man? They have no respect for the fine arms I produce, always waving them around like they're some child's toy. However, I've learned how to benefit off of their behavior. I'm the only monster around that provides such quality weapons, so whenever they push me, I push back and threaten to close shop. They always crumble and end up paying far more than the weapon they want is worth. A little money is worth a few headaches, haha. <laughs> okay, what about your wares? Ah oh, yes, my gallery of babies! Um, that sounded strange. <clears throat> These beauties are all crafted from the highest quality materials. I forge them myself in my own personal gunsmithing room. Not only do I make them with care, but I also care for them. I start my mornings by polishing the whole stock until I see my reflections on them. I also know how to handle these bad boys. I'm a way better shot than the North Star, that's for sure. And instead of cleaning them, I just fornicate with them at night. Oh. Does he dead? No, okay. <laughs> I, I saw a bandit in my rafters. Okay, that was a negligent fire right there. Flint does damage and glass hurts you, heals you. No idea. You're too young, empty this is a magazine. Visitors, the Wild East gets many visitors in each day. There's something about the aura here that some monsters can't get enough of. It's probably the heat. Now, don't worry, I'm not selling ultra-deadly weapons to any passers-by with enough gold. I make sure my wares are tame enough to not be lethal. I, myself, am not one for violence. Well, use enough time consecutively, they could be lethal, but then again, a ballet shoe could also be used lethal used enough times, which it is an undertale. Did Sea Lover die? No, he should be fine, honestly. Flint does better damage and glass heals you. Okay, we're gonna go with the glass then. That's really useful. Look, I don't question my morality too much. I am not prepared to speak about it. What about the history of this place? I heard about this town some years back. I had mastered my smithing capabilities and was looking to open up shop. As it turns out, there was an empty building here, so I thought, why not? Seems like quite the perfect time for such a shop. Do I regret settling down here, resulting in endless torment from five demonic youngsters? Every day. But everyone else I've met is quite pleasant, so it balances out. Okay. Bye! I wish you good travels. He wouldn't sell me his gun. I think we're gonna light this place on fire. We're, we're actually gonna do a bit of arson around. A giant lock prevents your exit. Kind of overkill, I'll say. Jesus, that is overkill. What's over here? This is a locket, an old necklace discarded in the sand. Looks expensive. Take it? Sure, that's mine. I got the necklace. Uh, we probably have to give this to somebody, right? This probably is something we can wear. Let's get our info on it. A broken but dazzling necklace. Can't be worn, but it could be worth something. Okay. Fine. I'll sell it right here. Sell this here. Necklace, 100 gold. Yes, please. Thank you. I'll make good use of this. I bet that wasn't even... That, was, that probably belonged to somebody in the town. We probably had to just give it to them, right? What does this sign say? 
Got junk? Yep. Okay, we don't actually have any junk anymore. Let's go ahead and equip our fancy holster because we paid money for it. You proudly equip it. You're ready for anything now. I'll say. Ah, be a good miner. Do you think Flowey is going to kill you? No, I think I think Flowey is kind of like. He seems pretty friendly at this point, honestly. You can sell it. Soon you have to fight Star's gang. Great, I can't wait to kill them. Uh, jail is fine. There's a news outlet over here. We already went in here, didn't we? Yep, we already went in there. Or is this just a bulletin board? Yep, okay. Sell on gigs, Monday. Oh, this is, uh, this right here. That's Metaton. Good. Wanted 30 gold reward for the crocodile that's currently in jail. Uh, the cups are not wanted, so no reward. The Feisty Five has a new recruit already on the board. And wanted static. Okay, best of luck on their hunt for static. Okay, since we've got all of this out of the way, what else is there for us to do here? We still haven't found North Star, have we? It should be somewhere. Can we go out here? No, we can't. There's too many ropes blocking it off. Okay, what about you, friendo? The fact you didn't fall for my trap is pretty neato. Maybe you'll fit right in here better than I thought. At least you're a bandit in disguise. Nah, I'm only joshing you, partner. Okay. Kill two, spear two? Nah, we'll just kill everyone. Hey there, Senate Sandbar. What an unusual name you have. Okay, we'll come on through here. It's emptier than I remember. Friendo? Friend? Are you ready to begin? Did you talk to the townsfolk? Explore every nook and cranny. You're gonna need to if you want to be good, deputy. That's right, kid. I'm heavily considering you for my coveted sidekick position. Now, don't get too high and mighty just yet. To be a deputy, you gotta know how to wrangle the horses. Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done around here. I wouldn't drag anyone off the road and give them special treatment. You'll have to prove your gunslinging skills to me. That being said, let's go meet up with the others. Okay, we'll do that now. What level are you on? I have no idea, Papyrus. I have no idea. We're playing it blind for the first time ever right now. It's the name of my parents' bar. We own it. It's also family friendly. So if you live in Omaha, you should come visit. I will. You know what? I don't live in Omaha, but I live literally on the opposite side of the of the planet from there. But I will visit you at some point. I'll go there. That, now, that's the kind of self-promotion I want to see in my channel. There have been so many dickheads coming onto my channel saying, Hey, everybody, I just made a video by the parody of the, of the new Minecraft movie trailer. And I'm like, stop advertising your crap on my channel. This is not your platform, you clout goblins. Right? It's, it, it's so rude. But if somebody is advertising a pub on the other side of the planet, I'll accept it. I will allow it. Senate Sandbar? Yeah, everyone go there. Everybody go here. Because this game, this game serves the demographic for people who drink alcohol, I can guarantee it. All right, everyone, come here. It is so rude, by the way. It is so rude when people come on and just start talking about, hey, everybody in the stream, come to my stream and leave this guy's stream. It's so rude. Oh, sorry? Yeah, that actually did happen yesterday. Some dickhead came over and started trying to poach viewers, which is just rude. It's just rude. Oh, don't be sorry. No, it's, it, this is not actually sarcasm. Like, if people want to promote, like, places and stuff like that, that's on the other side of the world to me. It's no skin off my nose. Is the Minecraft movie trailer here? Yeah, it's really bad as well. It looks really, really bad. I don't even know why this guy tried to make a parody of it. It's literally Jack Black in a blue t-shirt and Jason Momoa dressed up as uh, Jason Momoa's daughter. It's a fight of the gang? Okay, let's fight the gang. What you want, boss? Oh, are we going to be begin training with Sea Lover? Precisely, Moray. I thought we'd start with a classic game that involves basin. Yeah, me, boy, I see you doing every night outside the house. Back and forth, whispering to yourself. What? I don't do that. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their thoughts out. Other monsters. <clears throat> Can anyone correctly guess what game I'm hinting at? Oh, oh, I know. Yes, Mooch. A jewel. Bingo. Mission one, dangerous duel. This is cool. I, I like the stylisticness of this game. No, no, this is all wrong. No, what's the matter? Sea Lover doesn't look right. Look at that hat. It's tattered and practically decomposing. And that iron in the holster? What kind of pea shooter is that? I'm sure trying to do it. No, Ace has a point. What kind of host am I if I don't spoil you with gifts? To the weapon store. Mission one, canceled. Dress to impress? Okay, it's fashion souls. My bad. 
It looks nothing like Steve. Well, he's got a beard and he's in a blue t-shirt. <laughs> it looks terrible. It does look terrible, doesn't it? It looks like the spiritual successor of the Borderlands film, which looks real bad. It would probably be so bad that it's good. Borderlands was not. Old man Steve, yes. I just sud. That's uh, either gross or thank you very much for the sub, um, depending on what that, that typo is. <laughs> of course. Oh, Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I have him borrow his wares and uh, break or lose them. Open up, Blackjack. Don't make me use force. I make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. Get up my property, North Star. I told you I wouldn't even sell you a gumball. Ah, uh, come on, partner. I don't even know what a gumball is. And if those last transactions were uh, ages ago, I'm making a change, monster. You lost one of my premium revolvers last week, frolicking in your sandstorm and whatnot. Look, I promise this is a different scenario, Jack. I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. Don't worry, Clover. He's coming. Oh, he said his, her name wrong. Whoops. Make it speedy. Of course, sir. I was just gonna ask you to sell a gun to this child. <laughs> I worded that poorly. Hold on. It's ain't a child, you see. I was joking. They're just a very small but very tough monster. Ugh. I'll give you 400 bucks. <laughs> well, why don't you open with that, kind patron? Come inside with me and I'll fetch the paperwork. See? I had it under control. Wait out here, sea lover. <laughs> oh, the spam of stock effects is real. I never played Borderlands before, but I've seen the movie and it's all right. Oh my do, you have to play the game. So if you thought the movie was good, the games are gonna spoil the entire movie for you. Um. Roland is not supposed to even joke around. That's his whole thing. So that alone, him being played by Kevin Hart was just a massive damp fart in the first place. What's my favorite character? What, like in general? It's gotta be uh, Pyramid Head from Silent Hill 2. But the only bad film I have seen is called Blink Twice. Yeah, it is pretty bad. Actually, I kind of like the Borderlands movie without playing the games. See, love it? Yeah, you gotta play the games. Like, the games will absolutely ruin the film for you. A film is only a couple of hours long, and I'm pretty sure it's only supposed to promote Borderlands 4, which might be either really good or really bad. Um, Borderlands 1, 2, 3, uh, pre-sequels are not so much, but all of the Borderlands games, they are always worth playing, and it takes so long to beat them. It ends up costing like 50 cents an hour, if you buy it full price anyway. I need this child to have a toy gun. This child's gonna have a real gun. Done and done. Can I get a yee-haw? Yee-haw! There you go, done. Right, moving along. And he's got a grizzly voice, huh? Let's see what you got. Take this trusty six-shooter as a gift from me. You got the wild revolver. Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, it ain't alive or nothing. Oh, it's got a hat. Sand covers the dummy. Uh, what the hell was that? That's all right, partner. Try again. The dummy does nothing. Oh, I see. Okay. Mighty fine job. Give it another go. Bang. Whoops. It is a timing thing. There you go. One more. Bang. Okay. I'm doing it way too fast. Nice shooting. I'd say you're a natural. I'm impressed, kid. You definitely passed this part of the training. I gotta go tell Saroba about this. She's a big doubter when it comes to you. Let's ride on. <laughs> Saroba, guess what just happened? You looked up another royal guard against their will? Hey! Feathers was a serious roadblock to all of this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right doing it, I swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. Why did you want me to tell me? Oh, well, Sea Lover just passed their first round of training. They're quite the sharpshooter, almost as good as me. Really? A child? Now, now, don't disrespect the kid. Sea Lover can hold their own and then some. I know, I'm just, uh, very impressed. Oh, hey, I almost forgot about the hat. I have a spare somewhere in my house. Sea Lover, wait here while I fetch it. Maybe, well, they wait, you should get to know them, Saroba. Should be fun, right? Sure. Sounds good. Be right back, partner. Okay, bye. Why did everyone stop playing the music? I need this child to definitely not gun.
The old way is the Minecraft movie, literally just a movie, while the whole watching paint dry. Oh, yeah, there was, a, there was actually a film. Watching paint dry was actually a film that came out in the 80s, and the entire purpose of it, it was 10 hours long, the entire purpose of it was for uh, people who did the age restrictions um, for movies to have to sit there for 10 hours and watch the film, which was literally a wall of paint drying. Absolutely beautiful. I heard that the actors don't fit into Borderlands. No, they don't. Every single one of them was massively miscast. Minecraft movie needs a rework for real? Uh, yeah, probably. We'll wait for it to come out to see whether or not it sucks. There have been a lot of really good Minecraft things, like Minecraft Dungeons was awesome, and the Minecraft story mode was pretty funny as well. But, and obviously Minecraft, really good game, timeless game. But we'll wait until the movie comes out to define whether or not it's crap. It just doesn't look good from, you know, the fact that Jack Black's just a, a t-shirt. Just like the A-list actor, Jack Black doesn't fit Steve at all. What are you playing? Uh, we are playing Undertale Yellow. I love Minecraft Dungeons. I know, it's so good, isn't it? Diablo 4 came out. And all my friends were playing that. They spent 130 bucks pre-ordering it. And I was playing Minecraft Dungeons. They got pissed off because all of the co cosmetics started coming out and they cost money and uh, Blizzard just kept on harassing all of their players who already spent 130 bucks on the game for more money. While I was sitting there playing Minecraft Dungeons, feeling no guilt to spending full price on all of the Minecraft Dungeons DLC. It was so awesome. I was split. I heard the characters, but not the actual game of what it's about. What, of uh, Minecraft? I've seen your past Undertale streams. Oh, what did you think? I was kind of like uh, ripping the game apart in terms of lore as we went along. I, I felt like that was a pretty good way of approaching it. Tell me, truly, are you into all of this? Nah. Sorry, that starts dragging you around so much then. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kind of goofy, but it's nice to see him at least somewhat passionate. However, passion can go too far. You wouldn't believe how much his parents talk to me about it. Really kind folks who own a farm up north. It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. And the corn they grow? So good. They used to give my husband, Chujin, baskets full every other week. Anyway, I trailed off. Where was I? I'm back! Ah. No, Borderlands. Oh, you gotta play, you just have to play Borderlands. Ripping the game apart? Yeah, no, uh, ripping the game apart in terms of, like, lore. I found it during the streams of all of the Undertale playthroughs that I did that basically the general consensus of the fandom of Undertale over the last decade has just been completely wrong. Provably wrong. And across those streams, I, I prove how it's all wrong. I've got a game theory coming out that's literally just going to explain everything in one concise video. Or I might actually just break it up and make it a playlist. I haven't, I haven't actually decided to, to, to change anything, though. Yeah, it's Undertale Yellow. Um, now, I'm going to be right back. I have to do a biological feature, which I am not going to tell you guys about, but it rhymes with taking a fist, okay? I'm going to go take a fist. <laughs> okay, I'm two coffees lighter, and I'm ready to proceed with the game. Ah. I get it. How did you find it? Yeah, it's on Game Jolt. This game is actually free on Game Jolt. Anybody can play this game. It's not even a mod for Undertale. You don't even need to own Un Undertale. It's a standalone game. Anybody can play it for free, as long as you want. Go to the website. You can actually download the Game Jolt client as well onto PC if you want to do it that way as well. It's basically Steam for indie developers. <laughs> do you live in Omaha? That is such a... It is such a, a far cry to throw out there to ask somebody if they live in a very, very remote part of the world. Is that I want to adjust your size and in the same color? It's like Destiny or something. Here. Okay. It's got to be a hat, right? We're getting a hat. Is it purple? You got a nice hat. It's the same hat. Wow. I couldn't even tell it changed if I were sent from afar. Looks great. What do you think, Soroba? It's nice, isn't it? Well, I'd say this mission was a great success. Go on and take a break, sea lover. I'll be waiting for you. Great. Sea lover has just come into the wealth of a new hat. Do you guys believe that? There's nothing nicer than having a brand new cowboy hat, especially after the childhood that we had as sea lover. Like, it was pretty apparent that we are getting a couple of lore drops for this character, and we were, uh, we came from an, ab an abusive low-income household, I would probably say. We are talking about my bar. 
Wait, can you actually get Undertale Yellow on Steam? Oh, yeah, I can actually. Let me go ahead and fire up maybe this one here. So I've got Undertale in the window behind here. Let me hide the game. There we go. So on Steam right here, up here in the top corner, if you go ahead and hit games, you can add a non-Steam game to my library. You add it through the Game Jolt client, and then it pops up in your Steam library right here. And if you are using a PlayStation controller uh, as a gamepad, like I am right now, you are able to actually use it in this game. It doesn't support PlayStation, annoyingly. It only